If I could start to work with elite level players and programs, people would infer that I'm a, a really good strength and conditioning coach. They would make that assumption. What I did was I started reaching out to Montrose Christian, which was based in Rockville, Maryland. It's where Kevin Durant ended up graduating high school. Yeah. But at the time, this was 2000. I started reaching out, I think, in 2001, maybe 2002. Uh, they still had a history of producing Division One players and players that would matriculate up to the NBA. So I figured while I'm training soccer moms and lawyers and, and lacrosse players, if I could be a part of the Montrose Christian program and start working with elite level basketball players, people would start to to assume that this national program has this strength and conditioning coach, he must be a national level strength and conditioning coach. The coach was a gentleman named Stu Vetter, and, and, and he's one of the best high school basketball coaches to ever do it. The only way I could reach out to this guy without stalking him and showing up at his house was literally to send faxes or I could handwrite letters. And I started doing that and basically said, look, uh, I love basketball and I love performance training. You have a tremendous program. I would love to volunteer and offer you professional level strength and conditioning services for your team for nothing. All I want is the experience to work with your players and I'd love to learn from you as a coach. It took two years before I ever even got a response. Like you want to talk about sending faxes and nothing coming back and writing letters. And the response I got was one time I finally just randomly called the office and one of his assistants picked up. I mean, I was startled because at this point, all I was doing was leaving voicemails before, and now I was talking to a human being. I forgot what I was even gonna say. Like I was just making my routine call and ended up talking to this gentleman who was an assistant. And to this day, he's an assistant coach with the Washington Wizards and is one of my really good friends. But he answered the call and he said, man, this is crazy that you just called because Coach Vetter just told me that I'm in charge of our strength and conditioning program. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So yes, this is perfect timing for you to come in and help me and let's do some stuff behind the scenes and once our players start getting bigger faster and stronger then I'll tell coach Vetter that you were the one that did it and he'll bring you on and that was our plan and that was what we did and that first summer coach Vetter didn't even know that I was working with his players um, and they made some great progress I mean players gained 10 12 pounds over the summer they came back in great shape and then coach Atkins true to true to what he promised said coach Vetter this guy, Alan, is the reason that our players are better. He was the one that worked with him for free all summer. And that began my relationship with Montrose. And at the time, Montrose was one of a dozen Nike flagship schools that Nike sponsored to the degree of some of the college programs we're all familiar with. So at that time, uh, Coach Vetter started to introduce me to people at Nike. And a few years later is when they started up their summer skills academies where they made these camps for guys like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. And at the time it was Vince Carter. And at that time, I was really the only strength and conditioning coach on Nike's radar and it was all through that relationship. I've gotten to see guys when they were 14, 15 years old before they became the, the great players they are today. And then through that introduction, I got to work camps for guys like Kobe and Steve Nash and LeBron James. But but there were so many key points of, of just persistence of sticking with it that led to those opportunities.